What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you a comparison video between two cars and that is the 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe's plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. Now the difference in trims to my right I have the SEL convenience package compared to the limited trim and we're going to be showing you guys the four main differences of exteriors and the main differences of interiors. But before we do, this is not a sponsor video. So if you guys do appreciate and like our content, tap that like button, subscribe to our channel, because it really helps us out and we appreciate your support. If you got something for us to film, here's our email, email us and we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Hyundai for providing us both of these cars for this review and come down to Roseville Hyundai here in Roseville, California and check out their new dealership that they are literally opening up as we speak. Beautiful look on the new dealership. Now guys, keep watching, stay tuned. We're gonna be dropping those MSRP stickers and the price tags on both these cars so you guys get an idea of exactly what comes with these cars and the tag on top. Now let's go ahead and talk Hyundai Santa Fe. Now kicking this review or comparison off with some specs about both these cars. Now the only reason we have one hood up is because they both come with the same exact drivetrain. Now in the 2023 Santa Fe's plug-in hybrid systems, you get a difference of a 13.8 kilowatt battery, unlike just the regular average hybrid in the Santa Fe's, which comes with the 1.6 kilowatt battery. Now this, because of that upgraded system, pushes out 261 horsepower with 258 foot-pounds of torque. You get an inline four-cylinder, 1.6-liter turbocharged engine in both trims, so that comes standard as the plug-in hybrid system. Six-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifting. A little bit about the MPGE. If you were talking about gas only without the electricity on the Santa Fe plug-in hybrid, you're getting a 33 combined MPG, and if you want to put in electric with the gasoline, you're getting a 76 combined. And if you're talking about just electric, you're getting up to 30 miles of range on just the electric, which takes about 3.2 hours of charging time, or sorry, 3.4 to be exact. If anybody would like to know about the ga gallon gas tank size, that's 17.7 .7 gallons on both everybody. So, Specs are pretty much the same with regards to the drivetrain. Now let's automatically show you the four main differences of the exterior between both trims. Now, again, to my right is the SEL convenience and to my left is the limited. And let's go ahead and show you the front end. Starting with the camera system, there is no camera system here on the SEL convenience. That's gonna be different. The lighting system, you're going to see the difference in the lighting system. The hazards are in your halogen on the SEL convenience trim, and you're not getting those jewel eye LED headlight look with no bumper sensors here in the front. Now, let me go sh show you guys that on the limited. Bumper sensors going across. There you go. With the camera right under the Hyundai stamp or the emblem. And then check out the lighting system, the difference, right? You get that kind of like jewel eye LED lighting system. So the premium light and your hazards are up here. So honestly, the limited is the way to go if your checkbook allows that, okay? So right off the bat, that's the main difference. Now, other than that, the kind of metallic silver with that plastic lower grill is pretty much similar in both. Now, up top, panoramic glass, okay? This sunroof goes all the way back to the second row on the Limited. Compared to the SEL Convenience, you have no glass. Side mirrors, differences. Again, because the Limited is a higher package, you have that 360 camera system, which integrates that under the side mirror. No camera system under the SEL Convenience. But they do still come blind spot assist on both for people who'd like to know. Rims and tires are pretty much exactly the same in the 235, 55, 19 inches with the gunmetal gray, glossy look, machine surface silver, and they're running Continental's cross contact tires. Want you guys to just kind of pay attention to the wheel well trims in that matte black plastic, very durable, takes a, a beating that comes in from the front over to the sides and to the back. Ground clearance on both vehicles are 
8.2 inches of total ground clearance. Length, width, and height is going to be 188 in length, and width is 75 and a 66 in height in inches with regards to the size of both vehicles. Now let's go ahead and continue. Side on the lower uh, parts of the door, panel trims pretty much similar. Just want to kind of give you guys an overall look on the exterior, which brings us to the rear end look. Now this is your gas tank and this is your plug-in. So plug is on the right. And then let me go ahead and show you guys that. Let me go ahead and pop that. And gas tank is on the left. So plug on the right, gas tank on the left for people who'd like to know. Now, rear ends are literally exactly the same with your camera system integrated over the license plate emblem spoiler integrated brake light system windshield wiper santa fe h-track plug-in they do come in the all-wheel drive a-track system both of them do matte black plastic with the parking reflectors and your hazards integrated near those part in that same parking reflector bar bumper sensors in both with the metallic silver finishing off that rear end now let's go ahead and talk cargo area so cargo area with seats up 60 percent and 40 percent on that back bench you're getting a 32 cubic feet of space on that rear cargo area now if we we're to drop those seats down you're getting a total of 72 cubic feet of space let me go ahead and show you guys that in the limited you have the option of dropping the left and dropping the right now those headrests are completely high so it's not allowing it or those seats are too far back but you can drop this and you get 72 cubic feet of space a lot of room you can fit whatever being an all-wheel drive you can throw your skis snowboards back here bicycles if you're headed up to the mountain another thing i'd like to mention is the Harman Kardon premium sound system that you're going to get in the limited that you will not get in the SEL convenience trim package right now let's go ahead and show you what's under the mat right your tire situation going on there and that's pretty much it on the lift. A tire is uh, limited and SEL convenient, so you get a spare tire on both, which is a, I'm a big fan of the spare tires. So let's go ahead and show you guys the SEL convenience. Both come with the automatic lift tailgates and literally the exact same look with the 60%, 40% back bench, 12 volt outlet, you have the electric button, some cubby room, and lifting up this mat same exact thing tire situation with your spare tire under the car now guys that we're done talking about specs and the differences of the exteriors with some minor differences on the cargo area let's go ahead and jump in the interior so now inside the SEL convenience trim which is a lower trim than the limited trim and right off the bat, we're going to bring to you the nine main differences that meet the eye in the SEL convenience trim. Starting with the door area, you don't have the memory seating buttons on the SEL convenience to where the limited gets that. The button for the automatic foldable side mirrors that fold these in. Also, the Harman Kardon sound system on the SEL convenience. You do not have the Harman Kardon premium sound. And again, the aluminum door sill plate that you get on the limited which you do not get on the SEL this is plastic on the SEL and I'm going to show you guys that later on in the video moving over to the center console you have the ventilated seats okay the heated steering wheel buttons are not there which the limited gets that extra bell and whistle the seating system comes in cloth on the SEL convenience trim which the limited comes in the perforated leather wrapped seating on that which of course the limited does have a higher class kind of bougier look another thing the electric controlled uh, passenger seating you have manual controlled passenger seating in the sel comedians to where on the limited you have the electric controlled passenger seating and then we go up top over the center council again like i mentioned on the exterior you have the glass that goes over to the second row seating. SCL does not come with that panoramic glass look, which I'm a huge fan of that. So if your ch checkbook allows 
Just these nine main differences right off the bat literally makes it worth the extra money, okay? So, but overall, get a load of this. Similarities, the cluster is the 12.3 inch driver, full digital cluster, wanted to show you guys that. You have the 10.25 inch screen on the infotainment center. Now, I'm sure you're gonna have slightly different um, uh, tech inside the SEL convenience over to the limited. And I'm not gonna go into that full depth. That's something that you guys would uh, come down to Roseville Hyundai in Roseville, California, if you guys do prefer. But you can change like screen layouts and things of that sort, go into vehicle. And this would change here with like regards to convenience, forward safety, lane safety, and things of that sort. Toggle switch, pretty much similar with your manual controls for your um, dual climate control here and controlling that screen with your manual buttons also here. Now, we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior. Let's go ahead and jump over to SEL Convenience Trim, second row seating, and show you guys the differences. Now, second row seating in the SEL Convenience Trim, and right off the bat, the main difference, I know I can mention a few differences like the cloth, but I mentioned that from the front, but I'm gonna show you the main differences. You get that plug-in inverter in the Limited that you do not get in the SEL Convenience Trim, okay? Now, if I go ahead and show you the door panels, again, the Harman Kardon sound system, you don't have that here. Both do come with the sun visor system, so that's pretty cool that both of them come with that sun visor, so it's an extra protection from those sun rays. Cloth seating, the back on the Limited comes with the leather perforated trim with that quilted stitching. But to give you a kind of look, this is what it kind of looks like back here. Up top, you don't get that glass, again, which kind of gets you intact with the outside world, maybe less claustrophobia as you're inside the Limited with uh, comparison to the SEL convenience. But this is pretty much what it looks like. Let's go ahead and jump inside the Limited. But before I do, I would like to mention to you guys, I'm about six feet, two inches. So if you guys want to do a space test, I'm pretty tall. Leg room, it's completely there. I'm not touching, check out my leg room. And my head clearance is a whole lot of head clearance. You can control these seats and drop this angle, which is very convenient. So on those long road trips, that is a check, all right? So now I'm done with showing you guys the interior side of the SEL convenience. Let's go ahead and jump inside the Limited. All right, so now sitting inside the Limited and of course the better look and the higher class feel inside this car is just amazing. But let's go ahead and show you guys the four differences around the door, pan door panel area. Remember those buttons I was talking about? You get the memory seating on the Limited trim that you don't get on the SEL. The Harman Kardon sound system premium that states Harman Kardon. You have that extra button there right over the control unit for your side mirrors. And if I go ahead and press that, those side mirrors do fold. Okay, and the aluminum door sill plate that says Santa Fe integrated inside that plastic trim, which is a higher class feel. Now, if we come over to the center council area, remember these buttons I was talking about? Ventilation, you don't get that in the SCL convenience with the heated steering wheel. Don't get that also. Leather seating, perforated look with the quilted up top on that top side of that backrest. Electric controls here on the passenger, which the SCL Convenience does not have an electric controlled passenger, all right? Up top, that glass, remember, this is what it looks like. And one thing that is beautiful on these Santa Fe's, if you have that glass, look how far back that glass goes over to the second row seating. Sometimes they'll stop right above the bench, but this literally finishes almost in the cargo area, which is a very cool feature to have, which kind of almost makes you feel like you have the whole top in glass, all right? But let's go ahead and show you guys kind of what it looks like inside of here. Just very nice and classy feel with the leather seating and the stitching, that gray coming around. You still have the same cluster in the 12.3 inches, full digital cluster the 10.25 inch. Let me go ahead and show you guys the camera system. That comes up if I go ahead and press this button. Now, remember, this is the 360 camera system, so you get different views, bird's eye view, angles, that you don't get in the SEL. The SEL will have just the camera button, but it only, uh, once you press it, it only gives you the um, two uh, different angles of the rear end, okay? Now, same setup here, climate, all that stuff, 
go ahead and show you guys what navigation looks like or the map. I like to show people what that looks like in that 10.25 inch screen. You can split that screen. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto in both. Now under all the similarities here, if we drop down that bridge, you get that USB-A plug-in with the 12 volt outlet. And above here, one thing I want to mention to you guys, both trim packages, because I know I've been getting comments in the comment section below, both trim packages do come with the wireless charging pads with your USB-A plugins next to your cup holders, okay? That's what it looks like in here. A little bit of a look on the interior side of that little cubby with removable tray, maybe trash or change or things of that sort, okay? Now, in front of that passenger seat, straight to the point glove compartment, pretty similar with some more room to set maybe your phone or your wallet or things of that sort, okay? Now, we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior. Let's go ahead and show you the back bench. Now back row of the Limited, and of course, this is what that perforated leather looks like. Just, of course, the uh, higher class feel. Arm rest, this is pretty similar in the cup holders. Shout out to Hyundai for giving you big cup holders on the back because a lot of manufacturers will simplify those cup holders and they're like itty bitty cup holders that you can't even fit like a can of soda if you want. But the main difference back here is that inverter. So if you want to maybe bring an air fryer, uh, you know, hair straightener, curling iron, or whatever you want to have, no idea why you would bring that. Maybe you want to cook some zucchini or something, do it, plug it in, be my guest. But that is pretty much the main difference. The similarities, like I said, the sun visor system, same look on the door panel. You just upgraded the Harman Kardon, and I am a fan of the Harman Kardon because I've owned cars that have that premium sound system and it sounds great. But guys, as promised now, we're gonna be dropping those MSRP stickers. So here is the MSRP sticker to the SEL convenience with the price tag on top. And here's the MSRP sticker with the price tag on the limited so you guys get an idea. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thanks for watching us here at Vagabond Builds. Stay tuned, we have more cool things coming. God bless you.